I surprised myself this morning thinking that Alice might ask me to say a few words before the kids perform. And normally I'm terrified of me of making speeches and as an actor I really don't like to talk in front of crowds unless I'm in a character. Uh, and I also decided whether or not to improv the entire speech. I'm like, no, that's that's no good. I actually want to to give something back. Um, it's it's not enough to spend time with these kids and teach them what Mr. Adam and myself know. Um, it's really a gift that they're they're willing to come in. They're willing to uh, be more than the, what they know that is themselves. They're willing to break out of their shell, and they're willing to try new things. And especially in theater and even in life, that's that's great. Now. I'll try not to be long-winded because I know you're here for a 45-minute show and you you want to return on your time, but I think when it comes to children, it's important that we don't consider our return on uh, the small amount of time or the long amount of time that is spent on children. I, I think when we th think about children in terms of uh, money and you know, something just really data-driven data and quantity type stuff, which is like what we hear in the media a lot about children, like your data, data, data. So when I think about children, I think about um, what you often hear maybe at faculty meetings or discussions before a show, and you might hear the phrase, oh, they're not ready for that, or I don't think they can handle it. And the funny thing about that phrase is that it's often not children that can handle it, it's that we as adults aren't ready for it. We're not ready to take on that challenge to, to explain or to teach or to come to terms with our own baggage. Um, the funny thing about me, and I don't know if it's if it's how I was raised, or maybe my life experiences, or even just a biological thing, but I've never told myself, I don't think this kid's ready for this conversation. It's usually, I don't think their parents are ready for this conversation, or I don't think I'm ready to have that conversation. Um, most of the time, if I'm not ready to have a conversation, it's with an adult. Because here's the thing about children's minds. they it's still very free. There's not a lot of categorized boxes that they feel everything has to fit into. Often if you introduce an idea to a child, um, they're not so stubborn as to think, well, that doesn't fit into my box of reality, so I'm not going to accept it. And I feel like that's really important that we understand that the, the sooner we introduce groundbreaking ideas to children, the better. Now, I, at the, at the risk of sounding political, I think it's very important that we think about children as the future, and the uh, thing about politics is it, it's usually an ugly word. We say, oh, I don't mix with politics, or I don't like to talk politics. And there's this blurred line of when we're talking about uh, saving our trees that we can actually breathe 50 years from now, or um, how safe it is in our world, I, I don't think of those terms as political, because I don't think children are political. Um, so I think it's important when we're t discussing these topics around the table that we're not just thinking about money, and we're not just thinking about our, that, that box of fixed beliefs I was referencing to earlier. I think it's important that we think about children. Um, there's a lot of sayings other that I really don't want to paraphrase or butcher, but they talk about children is that we shouldn't be planning our lives in the world as though it's just meant for us to take and take and take. We really need to be thinking about children in the sense of, or we can think our lives in the sense of, you know, how is the world, how is humanity going to be represented 50 years from now? And if we're not presenting those examples of living 
life, both life to the fullest and life to the most humble. Then we gotta think what examples are our children's looking at. And what's nice about the children I've been working with is that a lot of them don't even ask for screen time even though they know they have access to my laptop and we could just watch YouTube videos all day. But that is not what they've been here for. They've been here because they want to learn and they want to play and they want to be imaginative. And that in itself is a gift. It, it's a gift to know that there are still people out there breaking the rules of their generation. Again, we have boxes for generations. We think children today have no attention span. We think people my age have no work ethic. And I'll have you know that I work, I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning and often go, I, I, often, work, I often wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. every morning and go to bed at 11 and that's a full day um, if I'm having fun with friends it's usually on a Friday or Saturday my, my weekdays are full um, continuing with our boxes you know we think that adults of certain races fix fit certain work ethic we think adults of certain um, economical status have a different work ethic and it's that's just not so and going on to our older folks we think older folks have gone past their prime we think that it's not important what they have to say because they're just senile or they're stubborn and set in their ways but that's really not the case um off often i'm not saying all the time but i've met many a person who is you know 60 plus and to me that's not even old i i have a great grandmother who's in her 90s and i've just started considering her old because she has onset of she she has full-on dementia right now um but anyway 16 plus still ha they still have that wisdom they and often those again boxes are starting to come down because they've realized that it really doesn't matter what other people think of them i think that's important that we all come full circle from child to adult to elder person and everything in between that the second we recognize our boxes of our fixed reality we start telling ourselves a different story often when i have an issue with somebody or i don't understand how somebody is thinking or why somebody is acting the way they're acting uh, there's a saying in my household where I'll be told well that's just the story they've decided to tell themselves um, it's not an inherent trait it's not that there is something wrong with them it's that that is their way of thinking and it might be very difficult for them to change that so I'm asking you all today be more flexible in their thinking and maybe you can do the incredible things that these children are about to do on this stage because they're just n not just child actors they are actors and they have learned so much and i am so proud to be the person that has put on this play with them and i hope you enjoy thank you